Senator Kufuado has granted some 126 diasporans of African descent citizenship to become Ghanaians by registration. The ceremony at the Jubilee House is part of the Year of Return initiative to welcome back Africans from the diaspora into the Ghanaian society. The 126 diasporans of African descent, mostly from the Caribbean and the Americas, swore the oath of allegiance administered by Circuit Court Judge Her Ladyship Patricia Dapa Miracle. Protect, protect, and defend the Not only does the ceremony earmark the 400 years after the transatlantic slave trade, but has also served as a restoration of heartfelt aspirations of the reintegration of Africans around the world to Africa. Minister for the Interior, Ambrose Derry, charged the new Ghanaian citizens to be law-abiding. I hope that you owe allegiance to the Republic of Ghana and help in the development of the nation. Following this event, you would hold Ghanaian passports. I would have advice our brothers and sisters abide by the laws of Ghana and defend the country at all times. President Ekufuado urged them to guard jealously the image of the country. Your decision to take up Ghanaian citizenship means you will agree to respect and abide by the laws of Ghana and live in accordance with the tenets of Ghana's constitution. You have the responsibility of preserving and promoting the image of a country whose reputation amongst the community of nations is today high. But citizens of a country that is reckoned, is reckoned, regarded as one of the most stable on the continent, a beacon of democracy, governed by the rule of law and respect for individual liberties, human rights, and the principles of democratic accountability. As a result of the commendable acts and deeds of past and present generations, Rabbi Kohain from the Diaspora Coalition promised the new citizens will respect the laws of the land. Mr. President, I can assure you that this citizenship is not a cosmetic ornament, but is a call to duty and responsibility to lift high the dignity and the honor of Mother Africa and Mother Ghana. We assure you that this will not be a blotch on your administration, but it should be the pride of your administration. It is expected that they would continue to support developmental programs as well as make meaningful contributions towards policy formulation.